Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to download VirtualBox. So you just want to go to the site, um, vmvirtualbox.org, wiki slash downloads. You can find it by Googling it. You can also just click the link in the description because I'll have it down there. Um, anyway, you want to click download for Windows hosts. Right, and it will start downloading, but I, have for the purpose of this video, already have it downloaded, so then we just want to open it and click next next and just choose if you want next install okay now we'll begin to install the Oracle VM virtual box and you'll get a user account control prompt just say yes to it And wait for it to install. A bunch of these will pop up. You just want to go to Always Trust Software from Oracle Corporation and hit install. Do, do. I'm going to speed this up because it's taking ages. Okay, there we go. Now you'll see this option to start Oracle VM VirtualBox 5.0.16 after installation. Just say no to that because we're not done yet. Okay, you've installed it, but that's not everything you need to do. Okay, now you need to turn off your computer. Okay, but I'm going to go stop my recording first, that way I can keep it. And, um, and I'm going to switch my phone, that way I can show you. So yeah, I'm just going to turn off my computer. Right now it's off. You're going to want to enter your BIOS. Now on some computers this is achieved by pressing F12, on some computers it's achieved by pressing Escape, and others it's Delete. But it should tell you right when you turn it on, say like something over here or something over here, like push this button to enter BIOS, to enter setup or something. Anyway, I happen to know for my computer it's F12, so I'm gonna just turn it on and hit F12. Now the thing you're going to do may be, and you are spamming by the way, the thing you want to do may be enabled by default. That's the case, but on most computers it's not. And everyone seems to just skip over this in every video I've ever seen of this. See, so I'm go down here, I don't know if you can see that. But like it says, BIOS, UEFI setup, or it will say BIOS setup or something. I mean it says BIOS setup. So hit enter. Okay, and then you'll go, you'll like come into this thingy. Now for me, I have a password on it, but you like you won't if you've never been in here. You just want to hit hit. Alright, so I'm going to enter my password. That's right. Okay, so. Now. The thing that you want to do. Oh, oops. Is... Over by virtualization support, it'll be different on your computer, but the option you want to look for is something about virtualization support. To me, it's like right here, alright, and you'll want to like click on it, go virtualization, and you want to make sure that that is enabled. If this is not, en if this is not enabled, then you must enable it. Now it'll be different for your computer, right? Some might have a shipping thing where you actually don't, some might not even have a user interface, some might like, have require you to push like these arrow key buttons or whatever. But whatever it is, you just need to find this virtualization thingy and turn it on. Okay? Now I'm going to go back to the computer. You just hit reboot or exit or whatever it's called on your computer. And Turn it back on. Okay, so now we're back on the computer. You just want to... Oops, I opened it like three times. Okay, you just want to go to VirtualBox.
and you want to in insert your CD or whatever, if you're using an ISO you don't need to do this, but if I insert my CD, like your install disk or whatever. Alright, we just want to go new, alright, PC or whatever, you can choose the operating system. I'm just going to use Hyrule's boot CD for this, and I'm going to say it's, um, it's Windows XP because it's close enough. Next, you want to choose how much memory the computer is going to have, so I'm just going to say like 1 gig of my 8 gigs is how much I'll give this. And I'll say I want a... I say I do not, I say I do not want to use the virtual hard disk. You want to, but I don't. Okay, now you want to hit start. Now keep in mind, if, you want, if you're planning on installing an operating system, you're going to want one of those virtual hard disks. Anyway, it's going to choose either host drive D, or you can click this and select an ISO image. I'm just going to use my CD. Alright, and I'm just going to go mini Windows XP. This is yours. And as you can see, it's... It's, um... Moving into mini Windows XP, the high winds boot CD thingy. And as you can see, we're in. And if I enable network and I like, try to go on the internet with this, it would work. Anyway, that's just. That's basically it. I can show you the internet working, I guess. You can see it works, I got on Google in a virtual machine. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Bye.